Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Now I mentioned that if you are looking at an angle that creates a 30, 60, 90 triangle like this one here, the hypotenuse is always 1, and remember that the short leg is always going to be 1 half. The long leg is radical 3 over 2. Now that's just the way it works out because it's a right triangle, and when you apply the Pythagorean theorem to those angles, that's the relationship. The hypotenuse is 1, the short leg is always 1 half, and the longer leg is radical 3 over 2. Now that's something you probably have to memorize or maybe even just uh, hit pause on this video and sketch that out because that's something you'll have to come back to over and over again. Other angles that are formed sometimes are these 45, 45, 90 triangles. That's an isosceles right triangle. Both of these legs are the same length, congruent legs there, and it's radical 2 over 2 and radical 2 over 2. The hypotenuse is 1 and again that's because of the Pythagorean theorem for right triangles and that's just the way it works out. So when you look at this unit circle what you have to determine at a given angle is what kind of triangle is formed. Alright now first of all we find those 30, 60, 90 triangles in the unit circle. Well the basic shape of course looks like that and we said that the short leg is one half, the long leg is radical 3 over 2 and a 30 degree angle or pi over 6 is an example of that because if you can visualize or actually draw out the vertical legs here in other words make the right triangle find the triangle then you have a 30 60 90 triangle as I said gonna happen at a 30 degree angle which is pi over 6 a 60 degree angle which is pi over 3 a 120 degree angle which is 2 thirds pi, a 150 degree angle which is 5 sixths pi, and so on. You can see it all the way around. Okay, I'm just going to be highlighting the degree amounts, but remember that these are fractional radians that are sixths or thirds okay now think about that a 30 60 90 triangle has a, a three denominator or a six denominator in the radian measure alright so look at the three and the six the 30 and the 60 so hopefully that's a good way to remember alright that's what kind of triangle you have at those angles about a 45 45 90 triangle well, at 45 degrees, which is pi over 4 radians, if we were to find the triangle or draw the right triangle, you notice it would be 45, 45, 90. All right? Now, that's going to result in the both legs being radical 2 over 2 because of the nature of that shape of triangle. What else does that happen where you create a 45, 45, 90 triangle? Well, any time that you're between a vertical 90 degree angle and a flat 180 degree angle, or a version of that. So, look at this, 3 pi over 4, which is 135 degrees. So it's 45 degrees off of the vertical. Alright, notice 5 pi over 4 would also work. And 7 pi over 4, which is 315 degrees. Okay, notice the relative positions there halfway between vertical and horizontal and it's that 45 degree angle version there. So all of those places would give you a 45, 45, 90 triangle and we would have those kinds of legs. Alright, let's try some problems related to that. These first few all relate to an angle expressed in degrees. So take a look at the diagram and notice what they're asking. You want to know the cosine value or the tangent value of each of these and what you're going to do is you're going to figure out the value based on what kind of triangle it is. So hit pause on the video see if you can figure it out. So here's how you do it. Number six the answer is negative one-half. Now where'd we get that? 
Well, what I want you to do is either visualize or actually draw out the right triangle that's formed. And you notice how that would have to be a 60 degree angle right there. They're asking for cosine, which remember in these diagrams in the unit circle is the x value. Now you're going backwards on the short leg of that triangle, so that's why it's negative one half. All right, number seven, also cosine, but notice how we are creating a right triangle right here. All right, now in this case, the cosine value is the positive x value there, and that's the short leg of that 30, 60, 90 triangle positive one half. All right, number eight. Now, tangent. What is tangent? Well, that's the sine divided by the cosine, right? That's our definition. So what's the sine and cosine values at 120 degrees? Well, again, we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Now, the cosine is going to be one half. That's negative. And the vertical leg here, the sine, is going to be radical three over two and that's a positive value, right? Now if we think of that as a ratio, radical 3 over 2, it's supposed to be a 2 there, over negative 1 half, those two denominators actually can cancel out, and that leaves me with radical 3 over negative 1 or negative radical 3. Okay, so a little extra step in there. Same with number 9. The tangent of theta at 300 degrees gives us this 30, 60, 90 triangle. And the cosine value is a positive 1 half. The sine value is negative radical 3 over 2. Remember that we're going to do the sine divided by cosine. That's the ratio definition of a tangent. And the denominator is going to cancel out. So again, we're going to have negative radical 3. All right, one more in this problem set. The sine of theta with a 135 degree angle. Go ahead. All right, our answer is radical two over two. Now, how do we get that? 135 degrees is 45 degrees shy of this 180 completely flat straight angle. So if I construct the triangle there, Notice that's going to be a 45 degree angle right there. It's a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. Remember that the legs are radical 2 over 2. And so the sine value is going to be this leg right here. Positive radical 2 over 2. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going kind of fast, but remember you can rewind or you can fast forward at any time and pause to try the questions that I pose to you. The next video is a problem set just like this. We're going to have radian degrees to deal with. So good luck and thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard.